What is it, Doctor? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ! This is central. Security status close range. Peak. What have you done? Answer me! Sir, we're picking up movement near the outer perimeter. Multiple sensors have been tripped. We have a breach! This is central. Security status red. Repeat, security status red. Hello one and all. Mickey here. Apparently not doing that great with RNG. And welcome back to XCOM EW Long War II Pets for our first base defense. Possibly our last, but not if we can help it. The squad, if you can call it that, I would say it's, it's more like two squads worth of A team are good to go. I would have loved to have brought our shivs. Unfortunately, shivs can't be here on the mission for whatever reason. I don't know, Shen, maybe he's got them recharging or something. I don't know, whatever. But that is actually the reason why we have Gerald here. He's really not that experienced. I mean, he's only been on one mission. Well, I guess actually, technically, three missions. God, three missions, really? The first was him being a rookie. The second was him getting enough training to get to a Sergeant, because getting him to a mech would bring him back down to Corporal. And the third was a mission he just went on. And then he's gone on a base defense. But anyway, anyway, getting ahead of myself. So the reason he's coming along is because, as you can see, we don't have enough body armors, which usually isn't a problem because we bring along ships. I mean, hell, even normally I have, like, four standard heavy armors and then four light armors. So even for a four squad of squishies we have enough armors but this is a squad of 12 so I kind of needed to bring Gerald here so we would have somebody that wasn't going to be wearing body armor which of course means we now have only three people not wearing armor instead of four god where the hell do I even start I mean that list that I usually make about you know suppression lightning reflexes chem grenades disabling shots none of that matters because the soldiers are picked at random so I mean god forbid we might just start off with all of our snipers in one go but you know Let's, let's just work through it. Everybody here has got more shot perks, except for Van Dorm, but he really, really makes up for it. Although we won't have a mind merge. We will not have a mind merge, which is going to make uh, psi abilities kind of difficult. But either way, let's start off with Glenn Freaky Friendly. He's going heavily armored because he has got four health, four health. He's the only soldier here that's going heavily armored and wearing alloy plating. And even then he'll only have 11 health, which is kind of crazy. He's taking the heavy battle rifle, or at least the laser variant of it, because God knows we need the damage. Speaking of which, like all of our inventory, he's taking a sword off shotgun as backup. Oh yeah, because when we start off and we're up against chrysalids and mutant berserkers, God we need the shotguns. Then scope to make sure he hits those rapid reactions, opportunist shots, and an alloy plating, because otherwise he would have nine health. Things to note for him are he has CCS, which is great, rep reactions and opportunists, as I mentioned. He's got lock and load, that was his random rookie perk, and he's got tax sense. Very, very good to not be shot, as well as, you know, a spirit to cause. Also very good. Next up, we've got Michael Bay, our first and only Master Sergeant Engineer. And speaking of being an engineer, he's going to have two alien grenades and two AP grenades. And yes, I know his career as a grenadier has, has been just abysmal so far, but you know, Bay, you're going to make up for it this time. I I'm sure you will. But seriously, though, it's it's, it's a real shame to, to waste these double grenade slots and use it for something else. So he's going full grenades here, or specifically full offensive grenades. He's going heavily armored as well, because he is a close range soldier, and I think he's got the lowest HP for a close range soldier. A standard shotgun, because A, he's got his offensive grenades, and B, I believe the other close and personal soldiers we've got, mainly assaults, they, I think, have more multi shot perks than him, I think. And then, to make up for it, he's taking the heater. Our one and only heater. He's the one taking it. So at least he'll have some kind of decent aim over 
long range. And things to note, yeah, he's got lightning reflexes, he's got jumpy legs, he's got damn good ground, so that's an extra 10 aim when he takes the high ground after using his jumpy legs. He's got mayhem, which apparently works for grenades, but not for him. He's got low profile, very handy for all the low cover in the base, and hollow targeting. I believe our only hollow targeting. Then we've got the absolute beast, Tyler Perry. God, you might even level up from this, you might get to Master Sergeant. Either way, he's going lightly armoured because he's got decent amount of health. He's taking the Gatling laser because he's got the weapons master perk. Stand pistol because why would he need anything besides the Gatling laser? Being able to move and shoot with it as well using run and gum. He's got a scope to make sure his rapid fires work and actually hit using the Gatling laser. And alloy plating because he is going to be pretty close range. Even with that Gatling laser, he's going to be pretty close range. And I want to make sure his health just, it just stays up there. And things to note, he's got rapid fire as I mentioned and close encounters. Dealing plus one damage on all of those shots. And weapons expert allowing him to carry that LMG. And his random brick perk, I believe, was iron skin. So he's going to take one less damage on every hit he takes. And he's got pet master. Yes, as I mentioned, for the base defense, every single person that has a pet will have their pet coming along. So Medea the Sectoid is going to be here. Next up, hopefully leading the squad. Hopefully he arrives promptly. We have Peter the General Van Dorn. He is, is not going armoured. He is not going armoured at all. <laughs> Besides the alloy plating, he's taking a Gatling laser, of course, that's his baby, and battle scanners. He doesn't really seem kitted out for this mission, but we, you know, we, we should have faith in him. He knows what he's doing. Things to note, he has two extra battle scanners, and the one that he has can be thrown even further. He's got side panic, mind control, and mind fray. That was his random brick perk. He's got his pet drone, van drone, and heat warheads, we're, we're not going to take a bunch of. So hopefully with all of his officer perks as well, and all of his command abilities, he'll definitely be able to move into position and still be useful regardless of having that Gatling laser, because he can just command or do a side or something like that. Next up, we have Blanchett. Now, usually we do mine merges for this tag team. We don't this time because we don't have any mine merges. She's going lightly armoured because she has some middle ground health and topping up with alloy plating, taking a laser rifle, sword of shotgun, again, like friendly, and a scope to make sure her sentinel shots hit. And then things of note, as I said, she's got sentinel, she's got covering fire, so all of those shots will have covering fire, and she's got automated threat assessment. That is 0.5 armour, so 50-50 chance of getting armour, and she has 15 defence while she is on Overwatch, which is great because she's got Sentinel. And then she's got Sapper, so her shots will deal extra damage to the XCOM base, I suppose. And, very important, she's got TK Field, so she can shoot and then use TK Field and keep everybody very, very safe. Next up, we've got Elbrash, who doesn't even have armor. Like the General, he has no armor, and like the General, he, he shaved his head. He's going with a laser rifle, again, sort of shotgun, scope, and alloy plating, pretty much like Blanchette, except Blanchette has armor, and Elbrash doesn't because he has got tech sense, which was his random rookie perk. Other things to note, Rapid reactions, of course, one of the reasons why he's coming. Flush, very good finisher. He's got his pet Newton, mutton chops, won't lie, that is a very big reason why I've brought him along. And body shield. Again, that tied with attack sense will help keep him very safe considering he doesn't really have armor. And then Gerald Springer taking our only Paladin 1 mech suit, please don't break it. Laser lance, alloy carbide plating, and core armoring, making him immune to crits. And things to note here, I mean, I, I can't really see them, but I know what they are. He's got light him up, he's got his random rookie perk absorption fields, he's got attack sense, and he has got shock absorbent armor so very good tank let's hope he lasts then we've got gerard having no armor whatsoever he's got eight health which is the most of all the snipers or joint most but he has no health whatsoever he is in trouble we need to deal with the first couple of waves very very carefully because otherwise he is going to get boned but we just can't afford anybody else to not have armor he's taking a proper laser sniper rifle because he's got snapshot no sidearm because we don't have any to spare a scope to make sure his shots hit and a medkit because he's got savior and things to note he's got double tap he's random perk. He's got his pet drone, Bloodwing. Increase aim against flying targets, as I mentioned, Savior. Increase aim against targets below him, Flush, and Snapshot. Then we've got, potentially an even more dangerous sniper, Zachary Snyder. He will be carrying full armor because his health is at 6. He's taking a laser sniper rifle, laser pistol, scope, and alloy bipod because he is just a killing machine. Again, he's got double tap, he's got disabling shot, low profile that I hope he not get shot, platform stability, increase aim if he hasn't moved, run and gun so he can move and shoot, prep shot for those massive damage hits, and Lone Wolf increase aim and crit if there is no one around him. Hence why all he's taking is a scope and an alloy bipod and also why he's taking that laser pistol. And then we've got our only rocketeer who isn't even a rocketeer, Vincent Manelli. Like Snyder he's only got 6 health so he's taking full armor. Laser strike rifle because you know he's, he's a rocketeer. Rocket launcher, scope to make sure those shots hit and a shredder rocket. Oh I do not know when I'm going to use that one shredder rocket. Other things to note, he is our third and final sniper that got double tap by sheer blind luck. He's got heat ammo, very good against mech, hopefully that applies to rockets. He's got tax 
sense. This again will hopefully make sure they don't get shot. That tide as well with Semp Vigilance. Combined arms, basically just plus one damage. And then Javelin Rockets to make sure that you can fire the rockets just clean across the base. I want to see rockets flying overhead without seeing where they hit or who shot them. And then we've got Lowry. Now Lowry would not have been a good choice for this mission, but he did get close encounters a few missions back, so he is definitely in. And also he's our only soldier with concealment. Not that I'm going to be using it at all. He's going lightly armoured, laser shotgun, laser pistol, two chem grenades and two flashbang grenades. Because he has got Packmaster. His random brick perk was CCS. He's got concealment as I said. He's got a med kit. His sectoid short round died a couple of missions ago. So that he won't be here that sectoid. Poor guy. We, we really need him. Oh mind merge. Yes. We've got a mind merge on Perry's sectoid Medea. So yes we can mind merge Van Dorn for that increased will for those side attacks. Brilliant. Forgot about that. Packmaster for those grenades I mentioned and close encounters. The reason why he's coming along and jumpy legs every other turn. Also very handy in this level. And lastly, William Useful Pow. Going lightly armoured, although he's got quite a bit of health. Laser shotgun, laser pistol, shredder ammo. God, he needs to appear on this mission if he doesn't. If he doesn't appear by wave two when we're dealing with the side disc wave, we're in so much trouble. And to the end, high cap mags to make sure that he always has ammo for the shredder shots. His random brick perk was ready for anything. I, I don't know if we're ever going to use that because it doesn't combine with close encounters. He just has to simply shoot and not move. He's got side strike. I think our only cover destruction, not including grenades. Another lightning reflexes like Bay. God, what are we going to do if we, we start the mission without lightning reflexes? Oh my god. We've got his drone, useless. He's got close encounters, the reason why he's coming along, and he's got a medkit. So we've got like five or six medkits this mission. So we have got Tyler Perry's sectoid Medea, Van Dorn's drone Bandrone, Elbrash's mutant mutton chops, Gerard's drone Bloodwing, and Powell's drone useless. So we've got three drones, a sectoid, and a mutant. It's a shame we don't have that second sectoid from Lowry, but you know, we got killed a couple of episodes ago on the terror mission when that chrysalid just he, he completely ignored Lowry's CCS. So I think we're good to go. Not gonna bother with battle scanners. We have two kinds of shredder. We have a bunch of grenades, both support and offensive. We have only one disabling shot, which is kind of scary. We have two lightning reflexes, but we have a lot of mod shot perks. Light them up, rapid reactions and CCS on friendly, close encounters on bay, close encounters and rapid fire on perry, nothing on Van Dorn besides command, light them up and sentinel on Blanchette, light them up and rapid reactions on Elbrash, light them up on Gerald, double tap on Gerard, double tap on Snyder and double tap on Vincent, close encounters and CCS on Larry and close encounters as well as if you can call it mod shot perk, ready for anything on Powell. I think that's it guys. I think this is it. This is very, very scary. Let's go. Soldiers have promotions. Yeah, that'll be the mech. Don't worry about it. Hostile forces have infiltrated XCOM headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. Thank you, Bradley. God, this is terrifying. So wave one, typically melee units like Chrysalis and Berserkers. Wave two is flying units, including the heavy cyber discs. Wave three is just about anything, really. God, are we, are we gonna encounter ethereals here? Are we really honestly gonna encounter ethereals? Oh my God. Delta section, report. Delta section, report. Finally, Delta section. It looks like your emergency generators are back online and oh, oh sh Delta, Bad whatever dog. this attack is, you're right in the crosshairs. We've got perimeter alerts triggering from all sides. Gerard, I think. It looks like you've got flyers coming through the cavern near the rear guard station. Plus, you've got a whole wall of heat signatures uh. coming down through the vents in the ceiling above you. Whoever breached our internal security locked down the door system separating you from the rest of the base. Once we get the doors open again, we can start sending reinforcements through, but that might take some time. Right now, it looks like the closest alarms being triggered are in the vents above you. Keep an eye out for any indications of movement. Delta uh, section, uh -huh. you have to hold the line. I know. The future of XCOM is counting on you. Or, or the world, this, this thing right here. So, not not a great start. Van Dorn is, is great early on, I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, thank God, Who, who's this? Bay, that, that's, that's something. But unfortunately, buddy, God, you can't even get to the high ground. Oh, thank God, we got somebody else. Larry, okay, good. Maybe I can just move you down here, CCS. And then, of course, we've got Gerald and Gerard. Okay, good, you can make it up here. So, for starters, go do that. Affirmative. You don't have a lot of health run far away. Oh, right, yeah, the pets. Nearly forgot about that. Oh, Larry's sectoid. So we've got Van Dorn's drone, Van Drone, and Gerard's drone, Bloodwing. Well, I mean, just, just fly up here. Fly, and go to here, right there. Gerard, you are absolutely going to go here. Actually, where are the contacts? One, two, I don't know if that's, that looks like three contacts, you know. I don't know, one, two, for certain. Are we lucky and they're all in the same place? Maybe. 
Let's go here then. If they land ahead of us, we can flame them all. So let's do that. In fact, we can shoot and then flame them all. Go there. That's affirmative. Then Van Dorn. Where can you go to, buddy? I really, really want you on the high ground. You can't even... Ooh, more contact over here. And here. You know what, Larry? Go down to here. Solid copy. You got jumpy legs if you need to come back up. You're probably gonna overwatch there and hopefully CCS will grab at any of the other reinforcements. Same goes for you, Bay. You know, without the CCS though. Oh wow, Bay, that is atrocious, buddy. Right, because you can't jump down to here. I think you can close encounter this one and then jump back up there to that one, I think. Or, or just sit tight there. You don't have CCS. Band drone, go fly and go straight up. It's gonna be difficult keeping track of who owns which pet and Van Dorn. If you sit tight, you'll overwatch. But if you sit tight, you're also kind of boned if you're, you know, out of position. Right, the ladders are only here and here. Ooh, man. You know what? Go there. Do it. Get to the high ground as quick as you can. Go there. Affirmative. And that is it. We've got Bay up here, ready to close encounters. This guy and these down here. We've got Larry down here. Hopefully going to CCS whatever drops down on him. And Gerard may be going to flame whoever's left. And then we've got Gerald. Maybe double tap that guy. Yeah, this is what we got. One, two, three, four. That I can see. God, right, it's not three waves, it's four. This is wave one, typically melee units, right in the command center. Wave two is flying units, including side discs over here. Oh, God, there's someone over there. Damn it. Wave 3 is in the cargo bay, more reinforcements, then wave 4 busts through these doors. So, this is it guys, this is it. I'm watching oh, the Drones, sit tight. Oh wow, we've autopsied you. Yeah, right, of course. So no, you don't have hollow targeting yet. Nope, too bad. Nobody behind, right? Nobody dropping down behind? Doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it. So one where the flying units can drop down, two in the center, and then two on the high ground. Okay, no more stalling, let's go. Hello. Please no lightning. Reflexes! Yeah, that's a miss. Sectoids aren't a problem. Oh, Sectoids. More lightning reflexes. It almost looks like a larger sectoid version commander. of the Sectoid. But something oh, is God, different. Oh, God, there was somebody behind. What is that energy? You've got fresh reinforcements Thank standing by, Commander. The bad news is we drain the auxiliary power banks while holding the doors open. It's going to take some time to reroute power for another friendly, attempt. Friendly. And who else have we got? Right, random Ricky Perks. We've got Mark of Wisdom. You finally made it, buddy. You finally made it. I know you've been watching for a long time, but you have finally made it. Let's let's actually hope you survive, though. And we got X marks the spot. Oh, I love those hats. You guys might actually have to keep them. But okay, okay. So none of our... Oh, no, you hit the sectoid and dealt minimum damage to him. But other than that, none of our shots hit. And CCS didn't trigger either. And we haven't autopsied you. So I don't know if you've got reactive targeting sensors. Well, we can find that out with uh, Gerald Springer here. But either way, yeah, well, first we've got to do the random brick perks. So be right back. So we have got Mark, will to survive. Let's let's hope that is true. Let's hope you have a will to survive because you really need it. And X, you get um, javelin rockets. Well, I wonder what class you're gonna be. And your aim is not good, buddy. It's not good. Crap, that's four below average. God, your aim is rubbish. You have to be a rocketeer at this point. You have to, damn it. Okay, well, we have to deal with you and we don't know if you've got reactive targeting sensors. So, Gerald, let's find out. Hello. Do you? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. Okay, Van Drone, go here and take care of the sectoid. We, we can't waste time on him. All oh, right, and uh, a sectoid commander. I don't know if you're gonna have the AP to, to get out of here. Maybe. Well, let's be safe and go this side then. Go there. In fact, will you? You're here. Maybe you can run to here, maybe. That's gonna be scary. Definitely gonna be scary. Well, Van Drone, boop him. Thank you. Van Dorn, 20 XP for you. You guys, I think, are gonna have to come out here and take care of this thin man. So go do that, I guess. I'm on the move. Hello. 100, point blank. And a crit, good. God, four damage crit, are you kidding me? Oh yeah, the carbine, ah, oh, that's why. Oh my God, Mark, you've got a laser rifle. You've got the spare, you've got the spare laser rifle. I think we have three in total and two were used up. You've got the spare one. Oh, thank God, buddy. Thank God you went to the armory before coming here. Should have started with you. Target disabled. 
and we don't have Shredder. And considering that you've got combined, in fact, everybody has combined arms, right? Van Dorn, is that what you've got? No, we don't have combined arms yet. So, Gerald, definitely go for you. Punch through the armor. Uh, not great damage. Van Drone, I need you to sprint here to get into cover. And friendly, honestly, you kind of need to do the same. And that battle rifle, are you kidding me? You seriously can't make that? Right, because it goes to there or to here. I think you could make it to there on a dash. Oh yeah, because you go around either here or that way. Damn. Yeah, I think you can make it here on a dash if Gerard wasn't here, but you know, he is. So, I mean, we could go for a chem grenade, but now's when we have all of our ammo. Do we, should we really do that? Or oh, hell, I might even need Van Dorn here. I don't know if we've got the firepower. Yeah, I do not know if we've got the firepower to do this. And Larry, I'm worried about being flanked from him over there. So, go here. Close encounter to you. Please score big. Not really. God, not really. Oh man, seriously not really. Shoot again. Oh man. Bay, you kind of need to come down here and do the same. Unfortunately, there's just nothing else we can do. We have to assume that sector is going to die. We have to. Same goes for that and that chrysalid. Oh my god, let's not do that. That was very scary. I nearly miffed our close encounters. That, on the other hand, is a close encounters. I really hope. It looks like close encounters. Let's grab it. Location. We have to forget about that um, sector one commander for now. Let's grab you. I'm sorry, how much damage was that? Two. That was two damage. What? Well, that's that's better. Still not great, but better. I kind of think I'm gonna need Van Dorn here, but he needs to get into position. Well, at least we've got that full cover with Friendly, but, oh man. Yeah, uh, I don't think we can take out the Sectoid, much less that Chrysalid. We can't finish the Mectoid off with a drone. Psy Panic is a 55, which is not really something worth risking. Although you could have gone up here and used it, to be honest. We've got two shots on the Chrysalid from here, if we don't move. Well, let's go for it then. Gerard, take out the Mectoid. Please actually take it out, though. Oh, thank God. Okay. Excellent. Then, uh, let's see how much damage we can do to the Chrysalid first. Friendly. Shoot the Chrysalid. Big damage, thanks to the battle rifle. Probably not gonna be enough to kill though, try again. Oh, less damage, less damage. Okay, Bloodwing. Can you kill him on three health? He doesn't have any armor. It's within your range of damage, technically. Oh, thank God. Wow, big damage, not bad. Gerard, plus 20 XP, and that leaves the Sectoid. Can you kill him with a 100 and a 78 to crit? Yeah, probably. Thank God for that, okay. So there's a Sectoid commander left, and Van Dorn, you can finally get into cover. So go and do that. Rubber's on the road and the kids are in now the backseat. Now we just need Friendly to get into cover as well for his overwatch. But not bad, not bad. We, we rolled pretty well there. Now what's that Sectoid commander gonna do? Shh, I think I heard something. That's a dash. That is a dash, my friend. You've got 20 innate defense. But this range, even through cover, a normal shotgun is enough to kill you. Or should I say hit you? Oh, speaking of the normal shotgun, you need to reload. As do you. So go do that. Go now. here, shoot, reload. Boop you, hollow target as well. Nice, and a crit. Not bad. Negative. Reload. Then Larry, swing round here. I'm on it, Commander. Do the same, shoot and reload. Boop ya. Not dead though. My weapon's spent. And reload. Ready to engage. Excellent. And Van Drone, you know what? Everybody else needs to, you know, do other things. So come down here. Are you not flying? Uh, you're, you're apparently flying. Oh, he's whole targeted. But you don't have the height advantage. Speedway 95 to kill, so I can't actually see anything. Oh, good job. So Van Dorn, that's another 20 for you. And now, let's move up with Gerald. That's reload. affirmative. Let's just assume that the Good to go. air mech is on the way. Bloodwing, go there and reload. Though you might have to run a second. Gerard, go here actually. You don't have double tap. Although if you stand here, you've got a better shot through that doorway. Mm, I don't know. But I do want you in full cover though. And here that leaves you vulnerable to whatever drops out here. Which I don't know what will. Yeah, just, just go there. One problem at a time. Go there, reload. Position. Shreepway. 
They're friendly. Oh, you still can't make that. Wow. God damn, really? Okay. That's kind of half the reason why I was moving out the way, Gerard. Fine, go there then. Hey, Van Dorn, we'll get you back. Then you guys move up a little bit. Moving out. Moving out. Good to go. Back in. What's next? All right, Van Dorn. Just uh, steady, I guess. Nothing yet. Reload, Van Drone. Fly up and reload. Then you guys. Should I really sit you guys in here? May not be the worst idea, you know. Especially with Larry having CCS. Although if they fly in on Overwatch, we are so boned. So boned. But if they don't fly in on Overwatch, Larry could just sit here and just take shots at each one that flies in. God, I don't know. And it's a shame you, Gerald, don't have jumpy legs. Because that'd be the perfect place for you. You could stand there, shoot, and then move away into concealment. So, go here, I guess. Or here, actually, on Overwatch, just in case I they jump this turn. Friendly, hey, go friendly. there, reload. Hey. Then you guys. I don't want you guys to be grenade bait. So X go Already over there. there. And Mark go... Hmm, I guess here, maybe? Here? Is that grenade bait? Go Moving. there. Neither of you guys have got lightning reflexes. That is a bugger. You know what? Bay, on you the go move. there on Overwatch. And Larry, you go there on yes, Overwatch. Man. Okay, let's do this. Right. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. We're picking up activity in the ventilation system oh, near the mech bay, Commander. Lightning reflexes. Why lightning reflexes? Ah, D. What oh, crap? Quiet. Do you hear something? So here and somewhere here, and I don't know if he is on Overwatch either. God, what do, what do we even do here? We're completely out of position. Completely out of goddamn position. They weren't on Overwatch over here, but then again, when Thin Men drop down, they tend to be on Overwatch. He's there. He's over there. So going here, you should get an angle. But if he's a chrysalid, how the hell are we going to kill him? We don't have the firepower. And also, he's got lightning reflexes. Damn, I've boned that one up. We could run, but then there's Thin Man. There's no way you guys are going to have range to sprint over there. Nope. Okay, well, you know what, Mark? Are you even going to have an angle there? No, I don't think you will. You have to do this, buddy. Oh, God. Please, no Enemy watch. target in range. Well, there was no Overwatch. Question is, can we kill you? Because I don't think we can. We could run everybody down, but then we're going to be completely out of goddamn position for the airwave. And also, do we kill that Thin Man? I don't think we even can. I don't think we can even kill the Chrysalid. A 61. I could command Gerard to shoot again, but then we'll stop that Thin Man from going over here and shooting him back. And the Thin Man might even go over here, so the Overwatch I was thinking of with Friendly wouldn't even work. Damn it. Oh, I bone this up. There's no way to break line of sight with them. Or it's nowhere far enough where the Thin Man won't just move up and shoot. If Mark hits that 61, Gerard can go somewhere around here, shoot, and Van Dorn can command him to shoot again. But then what do we do against Thin Man? He can just move up to here. And if Mark misses, he's dead. And we have got a zombie to deal with. Thank God. It's not even safe over here, because the Chrysler can just drop down here, then jump up these ladders. So if we are going to run, we'd have to just run straight across here, where the Thin Man would have the high ground against us. Okay, we'll get to the Thin Man at least, if we can kill the Chrysalid, which I don't know if we can. X can go there and hunker, and the Thin Man probably won't go there, but even so, I'd probably have to put Van Dorn here and Friendly there. But the question is, do we take the 61? Because Mark is out of cover, and that Thin Man could just run up to here. Although, no, he won't be in range. No, he's not in range to actually get to here to shoot back, I don't think. You know what, Mark? You tell me. Are we going to kill this chrysalid? Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Good 61. Then, Gerard, you're going to go here, correct? Yep, you've got line of sight. Then Van Dorn can command you. We'll go there. 98! Oh, God. Shoot. Good damage, good damage. Okay, so assuming that 98 hits, he is dead. Now Van Dorn, you can command him. The question is, can you command him from over there? I don't think, oh, I'm not even gonna risk it. Not even gonna risk it. Put you there, friendly put you there. And X, you are gonna bait this thin man by going That's here. affirmative. Hostile unit located. Hello, and just hunk up right there. That should stop him taking that cover here. Friendly go around there. Command Gerard. Then Gerard, can you hit a 98? Thank God for that. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Friendly's over Friendly here. Friendly go over there. And honestly, I'm actually thinking that Thin Man could drop down here, dive up there, go there and shoot the Sniper Gerard. But for that, we're going to go into Overwatch. 
Van Dorn, on the other hand, can't really do anything, so I guess I just hunker down. That, that is corner cover. Yeah, that is corner cover. There you go. Hunker down. I don't know if he's... An, no, he won't have an angle from there. Unless he just drops down and goes to somewhere here. Okay, well, you know what? You guys, swing way. around here. Okay. There you go. And Overwatch. God, that was close. Just by a 61. Just by a 61%. Roger, Roger, on Overwatch. We're picking up airborne hostiles yep, moving airborne, on the rear guard station, Commander. I'm not sure the alien ground forces can reach that area. They may be limited to aerial Please units. Overwatch. Please, Overwatch. Here we go. Well, at least I'm not on Overwatch. The gut. Oh my god. Guys. Guys, for the love of god. What? Hold on, what? Don't panic. Do not panic. This. You panicked. Yep, Jack, you're breaking. No! Jack, I think you've killed us all. I think you've literally killed us all. You killed Tolik and suppressed Hunter and Joey. I think you've actually killed us all.